Well, hello. Welcome to story time. Heho, imut ta konome. It is good to see you. My name is Sonia, and I'm the Children's Services Coordinator at the Powell River Public Library on Sha'aman Territory. Shechahafetch dakwal atin dauk. Welcome. Thank you for joining me today. Well, today's story time is part two of Stories for Family Literacy Week. This week is Family Literacy Week, and today's stories are all about falling in love with language. These are stories that can help us, I hope, fall in love with language. And how do we fall in love with language? Well, when it's fun, when it intrigues our ears, stories that rhyme, stories that have repetitions in them that are fun to repeat together, words that have sound play, onomatopoeia is the big word for that, crashes and bangs and booms, and words that are new. New words can actually be really fun to learn. So that's the theme of today's story time. And I thought before I read any stories, I would start with a song, a good morning song, with some silly wordplay in it. This is Gilly Gilly Good Morning. Gilly 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 Good Morning Good Morning Good Morning Gilly 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 Good Morning Good Morning to you Mini Mac, Mini Mac, Mini 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 Mac, Mini Mac, Mini Mac, Mini Morning Mini Mac, Mini Mac, Mini 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 Mac, Mini Mac Gilly, 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 and mini, 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 mac, mac. That's in that song. And any song or book that gets us to make shapes and sounds with our mouths, especially if we're learning new words and learning to speak and listen and read, well, the songs and the books that get us playing with sounds are fantastic. They help us practice making those shapes in our mouths. So the next story or first story that I am going to read today is called Hello Rain and it is by Keel McClear with pictures by Chris Turnham. And published by Chronicle Books San Francisco. The air is full of waiting. The sky is full of breeze. The trees gust and billow all before it rains. Rumble, rumble, distant thunder. Rain is coming, rain is coming. <gasps> plink, plunk, plunk on the rooftop. Do you want to try that? Plink. Plunk, plunk. Oh, it went plink, plunk, plunk on the rooftop. Drip, drop, metal mailbox, ping. Every rainfall plays a different tune. Listen, listen, rain, rain, rain. Old raincoat, rubber boots, big umbrella, best umbrella, green. Orange, yellow, blue. Let's go outside. On the streets, umbrellas balloon. Around us, a game of hurry, dash, start, skitter, scatter. But why hurry when the sky is an adventure? Deluge, downpour, sprinkle, storm, a drizzle, a mizzle, so many words for rain. Long thin threads, tiny parachutes, buck 
Crickets at a time, out of many drops, one big puddle. Curbside waterfall. Ooh, there it is. <gasps> Downhill swoosh, out of many drops, one rushing river. Let's launch the fleet. Drippy leaf, slippy rock. Here is an earthworm, a sticky snail. Here is a seedling. Even when it pours, the frogs don't hurry or hide. Hyacinth, foxglove, poppy. Down in the dirt, the thirsty roots are drinking. I missed the word yarrow. Mm. Cool rain, fresh rain, a barrel to catch the drops for later. So we can have pink roses, frilly peonies, tangles of vine, bursting pea pods, bright carrots, leafy radishes, plums in the fridge, sweet and cold. One for you. One for me. In a quiet spot, a single drop of rain touches five times. A branch, a leaf, an apple, a rock, a blade of grass before reaching the ground. We crouch under a tree and whisper talk until Crack! Flash! Inside wet socks, drippy pants, shake, shake, shake of rain-drenched fur. Inside, dry and warm. Rain trickle flows against the window. Mini rivers. Droplets joining, moving down, down, side to side. Want to play a board game? Want to read a book? Want to build a fort? Naps and secrets are both better when it rains. I wonder how the rain decides how and when to be. I wonder how it decides when to plonk, plunk. The ground is glistening green. Can you smell the grassy sweetness? Butterflies and bugs sip, sip, sip from muddy puddles. Can you hear the chirping birds? Hello, sparrows with your bright sparrow voices. Hello, goldfinches with your sweet, sweet song. Hello, flowers ripe and rosy. Hello, mushrooms, plump and proud. Hello, sun. The end. Well, I have a poem to go with that. This is happiness. And I'll hold it forward in case you can see there's a little boy putting on his rain clothes. And he's going to put on something called a Macintosh that is a raincoat. So happiness by A. A. Milne. And maybe we can just have a little rhythm going for this. John had great big waterproof boots on. John had a great big waterproof hat. John had a great big waterproof Macintosh. And that said John. Is that happiness by A. A. Milne? And I have a song to go with that too. A nice fun sound song. Can you go mm, ah? Very good. And can you go sha na 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 na? You might know this song. Can you go grr grr and huggy huggy hug and bloop bloop and kissy kiss? 
I bet you can do all of those things. Okay, mm ah, went the little green frog. Mm ah, went the little green frog one day. Mm ah, went the little green frog. Mm ah, went the little green frog one day, and they all went mm mm ah. But we know frogs go. Sha na 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 na, sha na 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 na, sha na 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 na. We know frogs go. Sha na 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 na, they don't go. Mm mm ah. Uh. All right, you ready to be a grizzly? <gasps> grr grr went the big brown bear one day. Grr grr went the big brown bear. Grr, grr, went the big brown bear one day, and they all went grr, grr, grr. But we know bears go <gasps> huggy, huggy, hug, mm, huggy, huggy, hug, mm, huggy, huggy, hug. We know bears go mm, huggy, huggy, hug. They don't go grr, grr, grr. Bloop, bloop, went the little blue fish one day. Bloop, bloop, went the little blue fish. Bloop, bloop, went the little blue fish one day. And they all went bloop, bloop, bloop. But we know fish go kissy, kissy, kiss. Kissy, kissy, kiss. Kissy, kissy, kiss. We know fish go. Kissy, kissy, kiss. They don't go bloop, bloop, bloop. And there you go. That is mm, ah, went the little green frog. Fun sounds to make and actions to make. So that brings me to the next story of story time today. This is Charlie Parker Played Bebop by Chris Rashka. And published by Orchard Paperbacks. I see a cat. Charlie Parker Played Bebop. Charlie Parker played saxophone. It's a big word. Try it. Saxophone. Mm. The music sounded like bebop. Never leave your cat alone. Bebop. Fisk, fisk. Do you want to try that? Bebop. A lollipop, a lollipop, boom ba, boom ba. Bus, stop, <gasps> zin zin, zin zin. Boppity, bippity, bop, bang. Charlie Parker played, do you remember? Bebop, that's right. Charlie Parker played no trombone. What did he play? A saxophone. That's right. The music sounded like bebop. Barbecue that last leg bone. Mm. Alphabet, 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 elf. A chickadee, 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 chick. Overshoes, overshoes, overshoes. Oh, a ricky footy, ricky footy, ricky footy, re. A, B, C, D, E. Charlie Parker played bebop. Charlie Parker played alto saxophone. The music sounded like hip hop. Never leave your cat. Ah, uh, 
loan. The end. I love the way that book sounds like, sounds like music, even though it's words, some of them made up words, some of them that sound like music. So I have a song to go with that, a call and response song. This is an echo song by Ella Jenkins. And when I say, oh my, you can say, oh my, you can echo me. And I'll say, I want a piece of pie. And you can say, I want a piece of pie. Anything I say, you echo it back. And maybe I'll just say it quietly at the same time as you, so you know when it's your turn, okay? Here we go. Oh my, oh my, I want a piece of pie. I want a piece of pie. The pie's too sweet. The pie's too sweet. I want a piece of meat. called Good Night Moon. Well, that was by Margaret Wise Brown. Two Little Trains and published by Harper. Two little trains went down the track. Two little trains went west. <gasps> puff, puff, puff. Can you do that? And chug, chug, chug. You want to try the chug too? Chug, chug, chug. Two little trains to the west. One little train was a streamlined train. Puff, puff, puff to the west. One little train was a little old train. Chug, chug, chug. Going west. Look down, look down that long steel track, that long steel track to the west. Two little trains came to a hill, to a mountainous hill to the west. With a puff and a chug, they went right through under the hill to the west. Look through, look through that long dark hill, that long dark hill to the west. Two little trains came to a river, came to a river going, where are they going again? West, going west, that's right. Puff, 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 chug, chug, chug. They went over the river to the west. Look down, look down below the bridge at the deep dark river going west. 
the rain came down on the two little trains, on the two little trains going west. And it made them darker and wet and shiny as they went on their way to the west. The snow came down and covered the ground and the two little trains going west. And they got white and furry and still in a hurry, they puffed and chugged to the west. The moon shone down on a gleaming track and the two little trains going west. And they hurried along and they heard the song of an old man singing in the west. Look down, look down that long steel track where you and I must go. That long steel track and strong crossbars before we travel home. The wind it blew and the dust it flew around the two little trains going west. But the dust storm drew not a toot nor a poo or a whistle from the trains going west. <clears throat> Then the mountains came beyond the plain and the trains started climbing west. Up and around and over and through the great high mountains to the west. The ocean was big, the ocean was blue beyond the land in the west. And the little train stopped. Their trip was through. They had come to the edge of the West. The end. Some nice things to repeat in that book. Puff, 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 and chug, chug, chug. And look down, look down, look down. Well, I have a railroad song to go with that. You might know it. This is I've Been Working on the Railroad. I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. I've been working on the railroad just to pass the time away. Can't you hear the whistle blowing? Rise up so early in the morning. Oh, they're going to like this one too, to the last story of this Falling in Love with Language story time. This is Peck, Peck, Peck by Lucy Cousins. And look, there are holes in this book. Something put holes in the book. Who would do that? Here we go. Published by Candlewick Press. Today, my daddy said to me, it's time you learned to peck a tree. Now, hold on tight. That's very good. Then, peck, 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 peck the wood. <gasps> peck, peck, peck. Oh, look, yippee. I've pecked a hole right through this tree. Do you see that? There is a hole in that tree. Oh. Darling, you're such a clever bird. That hole you've pecked is so superb. Now, off you go, my little one. 
practice hard and have some fun. So off I flew. I couldn't wait. Across the grass and onto the gate. Peck, peck, peck. And now I'll peck this big blue door. Then go inside and peck some more. Peck, peck, peck. Do you want to do that with us? Peck, peck, peck. I peck the hat. I peck, where is it? The mat the tennis racket, and the jacket. I peck, 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 a magazine, a picture of Aunt Geraldine, an armchair, a teddy bear, and a book called Jane Eyre. I peck the skirt, I peck the shirt, some slippers, socks, and polka dots. Peck, 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 peck. Holes in everything, look at that. I peck the soap, the blue shampoo, I peck the sink and the toilet too. Peck, peck, there's the soap, there's the sink, there's the toilet, there's the blue shampoo. I peck, peck, peck. An eggplant, a tangerine, a butter dish, a nectarine, a green bean, a sardine, and 17 jelly beans. Oh my goodness. Peck, 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 peck. Look at how many jelly beans those 17 whole jelly beans. I peck and peck and peck and peck. I peck, 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 peck until there's nothing left to pack. <gasps> Look at everything. Peck, 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 so many holes. I've pecked and pecked. I've been so busy, but now I'm tired and rather dizzy. I think I'll fly back to my nest, find my dad, and have a rest. Oh, Daddy, I've had so much fun. You should see the holes I've done. I absolutely love to peck. I love, 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 love to peck. Oh, that's fantastic, Daddy said. And now it's time you went to bed. Good night, sleep tight. I love you. I love, 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 love you. rhyming words in that story. Nectarine and tangerine. That was like, those were the big longest rhymes in there. Peck, peck, peck. I have a song. It's the last song of story time. Did you notice after all that putting holes in things, that little woodpecker was tired and his daddy put him in his nest to sleep. So I'm going to sing a lullaby for the end of story time. This is Rock Me Easy by Dennis Lee. Rock me easy, rock me slow, rock me where the robins go, rock the branch and rock the bough, rock the baby robins now, rock me up and rock me down, rock language for family literacy week let me end with a wave and a song goes like this 
So long it's been good to see you. So long it's been good to see you. So long it's been good to see you. I'll see you again next week for more stories. Bye.